Entering last night's game, it was no secret that Trey Turner was having a very rough first year in Philadelphia. His numbers look like a completely different player compared to 2022, and he went from being towards the top in a stat like F4 to being tied in trailing rookies like Ezekiel Tovar and Anthony Volpe. Struggles that have reached a whole other level recently as he'd make two errors in a game against the Orioles before being tossed for arguing a call, and after finishing that series with an 0 for 4, he'd start the next one with an 0 for 5, prompting his manager to move him to the 7th spot in the lineup, a demotion that didn't really spark anything. And in a marathon of a game against the Marlins on August 2nd, not only would Turner go 0 for 5 with a double play, he'd go 0 for 3 with runners in scoring position where he notably didn't come through in the 9th or the 11th. However, with the first two Marlins hitters getting out in the bottom of the 11th, Turner had a chance to end this game with the glove when Bell wrote a grounder to him. But instead, he'd do this. Ground ball. And it gets through Turner. Stallings rounding third. He's going to score. Josh Bell ties it up. Turner botched a play that, albeit was scored a hit and not an error, that kept Miami alive in a game they'd ultimately win. And the cruel irony of this is that Turner just had one of his worst performances in the same ballpark he'd have one of his most iconic just a few months ago. A performance that Turner was devastated about and even took ownership for the loss in his conversation with media post game. So with the shortstop who hasn't homer in his last 20 games, who just came off a road trip where he went three for 27 with some very questionable moments with the glove, I'm sure you probably already know how he was greeted when he came back to Philly. But let me tell you, you're wrong. <laughs> Shortstop, Trey Turner. Just about everybody here is standing. Trey Turner nodding. As Phillies fans would have the struggling stars back and see him as a human who knows he's made mistakes and wants to do better instead of just a pro athlete who's not living up to his massive contract. And while this didn't spark much from Turner in a 7-5 Phillies loss, this brings us to the game last night where even though Trey had a pretty whatever start to his day, making a very nice defensive play in the second, but going 0 for 2 with two ground outs through four innings, this brings us to the fifth, where the Royals would rally for four runs and make the score 6-3, which was almost immediately cut into by Philadelphia when Bryce Harper launched a two-run shot that made this a one-run game. And with the Royals not adding any more in the sixth, the Phillies let off the sixth with a hit-by-pitch and bun hit, that put the go-ahead run on base for Philadelphia with Trey Turner stepping up the hit. And on the first pitch he saw, Turner would say thank you to the Philadelphia fans. First and second, Turner. Get a high fly ball to deep left field. He answered their call. It's gone! A three-run home run for Trey. And the Phillies have just taken the lead. It's an 8-6 ball game. And this place is jumping for joy. Maybe I'm cooked, but with both homers being on inside pitches with a 30 degree launch angle, this looks pretty similar to his WBC Grand Slam. But back to the moment, later in the game, Trey would also rip an RBI double deep to center that gave Philadelphia some needed insurance and gave us our final score of 9-6. While salvaging his season from an individual standpoint is probably too tall of a task at this point, whether he's batting second or eighth, Trey Turner still has a massive opportunity to make this a memorable season for the people of Philadelphia.